Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday, November 11th. Today is the day the church commemorates the life of Martin of Tours, pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun. We look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for the evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our constant companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope among us, that we may recognize you as you are revealed in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness, answer me. In your righteousness, enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued my soul, he has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me, my heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all that you have done, I ponder the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord, my spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. Our New Testament reading this morning is a continuation of our reading from Matthew 25. Jesus continued, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you cursed, into the fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me, naked, and you did not clothe me, sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will also answer, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Truly I say to you, as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into the eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. about Martin of Tours, pastor, born into a pagan family in what is now Hungary around AD 316, Martin grew up in Lombardy, Italy. Coming to the Christian faith as a young person, he began a career in the Roman army, but sensing a call to church vocation, Martin left the military and became a monk, affirming that he was Christ's soldier. Eventually, Martin was named Bishop of Tours in western Gaul, France. He is remembered for his simple lifestyle and his determination to share the gospel throughout rural Gaul. Our first devotion with Luther tonight is from 1 Corinthians 7.24. 
Brothers and sisters, you should remain in whatever circumstances you were called in when God called you. God is with you in those circumstances. Content in your calling. We all have a calling in life. We serve God when we wholeheartedly take care of these responsibilities. An official who governs well serves God, a mother who cares for her children, a father who goes to work, and a student who studies diligently are all servants of God. Many overlook this God-pleasing lifestyle because they consider simple day-to-day -day work insignificant. They look instead for other work that seems more difficult and end up becoming disobedient to God. Doing what God requires is a sign of superior wisdom. God requires that you work hard at your calling without worrying about what anyone else is doing. Yet few people do this. A poet who reflected on what people are like once said, the farmer would like to be a shopkeeper and the shopkeeper a farmer. As the saying goes, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Few people are satisfied with their lives. The person in the pew wants to be a member of the clergy. The student wishes he were the teacher. The citizen thinks he should be mayor. Few people are content with their calling. However, there is no other way to serve God except simply living by faith, sticking to your calling, and maintaining a clear conscience. Join together in the Apostles' Creed and the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us, spare all the dying. From all sin, from all evil, from the devil's might, from the devil's wiles, from your wrath and from hell's torment, from sudden and evil death, good Lord, deliver them. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your agony and bloody sweats, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help them, good Lord. In the hour of death, on the day of judgment, help them, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, good Lord, to comfort all the dying, to forgive them all their sins, to lead them out of this misery into eternal life. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Lord God of hosts, your servant Martin the soldier embodied the spirit of sacrifice. He became a bishop in your church to defend the Catholic faith. Give us grace to follow in his steps so that when our Lord returns, we may be clothed with the baptismal garment of righteousness and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our short reading with Luther tonight on Psalm 113, verses 5 to 6. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high, who looks far down on the heavens and the earth? Who is like the Lord? For since God is the Most High and there is nothing above him, he cannot look above him, nor yet to either side, for there is none like him. He must needs, therefore, look within him and beneath him, and the farther one is beneath him, the better does he see him. 
The eyes of the world and of men, on the contrary, look only above them and are lifted up with pride, as it is said in Proverbs 30.13. There is a people whose eyes are lofty and their eyelids lifted up on high. This we experience every day. Everyone strives after that which is above them, after honor, power, wealth, knowledge, a life of ease, and whatever is lofty and great. And where such people are, there are many hangers-on. All the world gathers round them, gladly yields them service, and would be at their side and share in their exultation. On the other hand, no one is willing to look into the depths with their poverty, disgrace, squalor, misery, and anguish. From these all turn away their eyes. Where there are such people, everyone takes to his heels, forsakes and shuns and leaves them to themselves. No one dreams of helping them or of making something out of them. And so they must remain in the depths and in their low and despised condition. There is among men no creator who would make something out of nothing. Therefore, to God alone belongs that sort of seeing that looks into the depths with their need and misery, and is near to all that are in their depths. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that we have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commit myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.